instead of just sitting around eating food, watching TV, I'm out here competing and having fun. Of course. You would rather be out here, wouldn't you? Yeah, most definitely. But it helps you compete really well. Like for high school track, I wasn't competing against anybody, so I was just racing against the clock. But then at state, I went against Mark Braun and I competed better and so did he because we were racing against each other. So we need more athletes out there. There's good sportsmanship and everyone is nice to each other. Everyone might have, like, there's different classifications. Um, people might have different disabilities, but we're all on the same team. Uh, I am an Olympic gold medalist in the 1500. I had a lot of experience racing myself and uh, so passing that knowledge on uh, is a big help because uh, when I started there was nothing like coaching, uh, you know, we had to find everything oh, out yeah, ourselves, yeah. Yeah. we even had to design our own wheelchairs. The wheelchair I won the gold medal with, I built myself from uh, an old bike, so I know exactly how a wheelchair should feel, uh, act. Uh, I know about practice, what you should do to develop more speed, to develop endurance, uh, your pushing technique, everything is very important if you want to rise up to world level. So. Both the chairs have brakes, but you don't really need this one for track. And you don't really need those ones either, I guess. But um, the main difference is these wheels are cambered, so you have a better angle for pushing. Um, as like for this chair, it's just straight forward because you're not really racing in it. Um, I can get my feet tucked back in here, so it gives me more leverage to give more power in my pushes to lift up and down. Um, and then when I go around turns, here's a compensator. I just hit it and then it turns my wheel so I follow the curve and you keep your momentum going instead of slowing down to make a turn like in a chair, like in a wheelchair.